Hello everyone, let's start with a new video of OpenCart Marketplace. This module is highly beneficial for the OpenCart store owners because it will convert your OpenCart store into a multi-vendor marketplace where different sellers can add their products. This will help the marketplace to have a versatile product range and it will attract customer towards the marketplace which will increase your sales and revenue. So in this video, I am going to show you how sellers can create their new account and how they can manage their account easily. So at first we have to go to the login panel. So this is our login panel. Now for the new customers, you have to click on continue. So you can see here is the register account page here the customer have to fill the first name last name email telephone and all the basic information about them so i will fill it quickly so i have filled all the information about the seller or the customer so here you can subscribe for the newsletter yes or no and here is the become partner so you can click on yes or you can continue with the normal customer if you set it yes then a request will be sent to the admin panel so, uh, and admin will uh, approve your request then you can be uh, a seller and can you can add products to your store so here is company name So here you can uh, set your company's name. So now I will continue. So here you can see the new store, uh, new customer has been created. And uh, this is the panel, side panel. By this panel, uh, under this sellers can easily manage their profiles so I am going to show you an existing sellers profile which is our demo sellers profile so this is John Doe our demo seller so if any seller wants to uh, manage his profile then he has to click on my profile then here is account information here is the first name last name email then sef keyword for the shop now the next field is avatar you can edit it or remove the avatar for the seller now here is the gender seller can easily select male or female now here is short profile description about the seller so here you can see you can write the description about the store or the seller and you can also add youtube videos to your description now here is the company name of uh, this particular seller now here is the twitter id facebook id company locality country and theme now you can see the company banner here you can edit or remove the company banner here is the company logo you can edit or remove the company logo now here is the company description here you can write the description about your company or seller can write the description about your company seller can save their profile by this continue button and here they can see a success message or they can view their profile by clicking on uh, this bu button view profile button so you can 
see here is the view profile button so this is the company banner and here is the avatar and uh, basic information about the seller now here is the information of the company company description about store here is the store information so in store information you can add videos now here is the collection page of this particular seller so now the reviews for the seller after that the product reviews for this, this seller now the location so here you can see a map in which the seller is been located so this is what my profile does now we will move to dashboard so under dashboard you can view the total orders for the seller now this total sales of this particular seller total buyers of this particular seller and this map is showing the details of the sales from where the maximum sales has been generated now sales analytics graph to analyze the sales and here is the latest orders of this particular seller so that's all for the dashboard now we will move we will move to order history so you can see the order history of uh, this particular seller so here are the three orders and uh, you can view the orders by clicking on the view button so here is the order information displayed in front of you seller can write the tracking number and submit the shipping or shipment seller can easily change the order status if admin have enabled it from the backend or admin panel now here is the notify customer or notify admin if order status has been changed now here is comment seller can easily add comment to the order and seller can easily print invoice from by clicking this button or seller can go back to the order history so that's how the order history works now we will move to transaction so here you can see the transaction list of the seller so here is only one transaction has been made so you can see the transaction list for the seller you can use the filter to search for a particular transaction so that's all for the transaction we will move to the product list this is the product list of a particular seller which the seller has been added to the marketplace for the selling purpose so you can uh, see the product list you can modify any product So here is the general informations. You can modify the general informations. Now here is the data. You can easily modify the data. Now the links. Here is manufacturer categories, filters. 
then comes the attributes here you can add attributes to the product now here is option custom options you can add various custom options for the product now here is discount you can add discounts for the customers to increase your sales now here is special so here you can set the special price for the product now here is the images you can add different images for this product now here is reward uh, you can set reward or reward points for the customers and after that you can save the modifications by this continue button or you can go back to the product list so that's all for the product list we will move to add product so adding a product in open cut marketplace is highly user friendly uh, sellers can easily add products by entering the product name description so I will quickly add a product to this open cart marketplace so I have added I have filled all the basic information about the product so here is general data links attribute option discount special images reward now I will go and click on continue so here is the success message that uh, my product has been successfully saved so you can see in my product list a demo product one is added so now I will go to the decors where I have added that product so here is my demo product one product which I have added recently so here you can see the product image is not shown because I have not added uh, the image of for this product and uh, product information is shown here and uh, sold by the seller the seller's information is here and here is a button for the contact seller by clicking on this button you can easily contact the seller so here you have to write the subject and here you have to write the query and uh, uh, you can click on send button to ask any question or you can close it if you don't want to ask any question and you can see the related products or you can see the products offered by this same seller is shown in the product page so now again I will go to my account and that's all for the add product now we will move to downloads so here you can see the downloadable item list if any seller have downloadable items then and uh, uh, the seller wants to add to add the, that product to the marketplace then they can add it from here and the list will be shown uh, under downloads so now uh, the next field is managed shipping so in managed shipping so under managed shipping seller can easily manage the shipping for its products his products so they can upload csv file for the shipping rates or they can add manually so here is the shipping rates list of uh, the seller which the seller have 
added previously so that's all for the manage shipping now the next field is asked to admin so seller can ask any query or any uh, question to the seller so seller can easily add subject and add questions to this page and then seller can easily send it to the admin like I'm sending a question so here is the success message so that's all for the marketplace menu now we will move to the general menu here my account by clicking on my account the seller will go to the my account front page now here is edit account by clicking on edit account seller can easily edit their account now clicking on password seller can easily change their password address book seller can modify their address edit by clicking on edit or they can delete or they can add new address now wish list by clicking on wish list seller can see their wish list for the product uh, now here is the order history uh, seller can see the order history which seller have ordered to another seller or seller have ordered a product of another seller now the next is downloads here is the downloadable products which the seller have purchased now here is recurring payment if any recurring payment is created then here seller can see the recurring payments now reward points so here is the list or the total reward points for the sellers here is no reward points yet for the, this seller now here is returns the returns which is created by the customers now here is transactions so you can see the transactions for the purchases and newsletter and the last uh, field is logout by clicking on logout the seller will be logged out by their account so that's all for this video i hope you have understood how to create a new seller in the marketplace and how sellers can easily manage their stores and their profiles in the marketplace so thank you for watching this video stay connected